Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, Starfarers, and welcome to another episode of Starfield in Cobalthorium. In this episode, I think we're going to try to explore the star system. However, I'm really getting annoyed at this. So if we go in here and we go to skills, our environmental conditioning is not good. Um, however, to actually get to the one that we want, which I think it's this thermal environment dam uh, environmental damage, and we only gain 10% resistance too, which is not great. But that's the one that we definitely want. And we only have two points. So I think I'm gonna start on the skill tree. I kinda wanna I kinda want all of it actually, because this is a really annoying mechanic. So I think we're gonna start on this before we head out. We're gonna grab that. And then uh I guess we're gonna head out. Actually, how's my inventory look? Before we go out. Mm, it's not great, but it's not too bad. I don't think we're gonna... Smugglers use walls like this to stay off the grid. Alright, what do we actually have to do here? We have to gain two fauna and two resources. And that's it. So the faunas... Well, these are some of them. Warming whale shark. Let's see if these other things are. So it's a flocking filter. Okay, so these are both airborne entities. I think we'll be all right. Just grabbing all of them. Hopefully, they won't attack. Why they falling out of the sky? Are these things eating them? I guess they are. Well, that's all the critters. That's not a critter. So these guys have sealant plans. Now, it looks like, yeah, we have a resource here. One more resource, that's all we need. Looks like there's one over here. Alright, that's it. Let's get the hell out of here. Should we try to shoot one of these whale sharks? See what it does. Still trying to find something that has um what was that guy looking for? There's something really weird and specific. It's up here. It's kind of like a mushroomy world where even the organisms are kind of mushroomy. Plants are kind of mushroomy. Glowing grass. Hopefully these things are not trying to eat my ship here. Let's get going. Well, that was pretty straightforward and easy. We don't we didn't get an affliction out of it. Read any good books lately? Are, are you asking me? Oh. Books. Odd way to start a conversation, or I'm confused, or are you talking to me? <laughs> or I need a little more to go on. Yeah, well, this is my actual reaction, so. Yes. Um, 
Yeah, that makes sense. Do you have more books, or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My you book allowance is all gone, and Dad won't get me more. So, books? Hey, hey, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. She's so rude to him. They're playing books on the computer. What sort of books are you into? I like books about quantum theory and astrophysics. Or science. Or horses. Did you know that it wasn't until after the Industrial Revolution that horse speed was the maximum civilization speed for centuries? All of society was built upon horses. Imagine what they must have looked like for real. They look smelly, in a good way. Uh, there are plenty of books on the computer, or give 50 credits. Ah, oh, jeez. I... This is kind of dismissive. I don't think Sam is going to like that, but I don't think Sam is going to like us giving her money, either. So it's like... He'll probably hate this less. Let's go for it. Oh, oh, oh. Dad, you've made the best friend ever. Well, now you've done it. Now you can get pestered about books nonstop. Yeah. A small price to pay for my education. Now the important question. Pizza. Favorite topping? Jalapeno. And please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. Uh, I don't really care for pizza. Veggie pizza is the way to go. I like meat, whatever's handy. Or a good old plain cheese pizza is classic. I, I could go for veggie pizza, but if we're buttering Sam up, and this is what he says, we'll do it. Oh, no, no, no. Looks like it's cheese pizza from here on out. <laughs> this is horrifying. Oh, well. Let me think. I have decided that I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I, uh, seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves. Cute. All right, uh, is there anything A else? A brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. I've read that. Bye. All right, let's go. Let's get off this rock and into space. Hooray. Pirates around doesn't look like it. Okay, let's uh, let's open up the map. Star map. Uh, oh, there's a deserted mineral plant here. Actually, we never went to the mining outpost either, did we? Kind of stinks. We should probably do these. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Actually, there's something that we wanted here, wasn't there? It's like a place to sell stuff. Yeah, none outside though. Um, all right, where's this mining outpost? Mining outpost. There it is. Let's go. Warming whale sharks. They don't seem to care about us too much unless we shoot at them.
talk to Sam once we're inside. Safely and comfortably inside. That is the idea. This being a somewhat hostile world. That looks pretty nice. Alright. These must be friendlies. Even so. Yep, yep, I understand. My back's never gonna be the same after this job. Need some credits, newcomer? I've got something I could use a hand with. Okay. <sighs> we got a miner that walks out of a contract. Just plain left in the middle of the night. Who the hell knows why? But not only is it dangerous out there, but it's putting our schedule at risk. We need someone to convince them to come home before they get themselves killed and then really foobar our schedule. We'll pay well. Alright, that sounds fine. I'll find them and bring them home safely, braving the wilderness to convince a pig-headed folk to come home. The stuff of legends. I don't have time for this. Braving the wilderness to convince pig-headed folk. Sure, we'll go with Is that. Is it thrilling work? No. Is it fulfilling? Also, no. <laughs> but, I'll scrounge something up to make it worth your while. I mean, that sounds pretty good. Alright. Um, hmm. Let's just take a peek around here. Real quick. Oh, hello. Are you the same guy? You won't get anything yep. done standing around here. Yeah, it's the same guy. It's hard to tell. All the suits are kind of similar looking. Keep away from the equipment. We don't have a medic on staff. I don't know how many more of these contracts I have in me. Alright, anything else to really look at on the bottom floor here? It doesn't really seem like it. What's this? Fiber. And... Chloro... What the hell? I guess that's just their trash. I just hope Cora don't wind up working for a corporation churning out factories doing who knows what. Nah, she's too smart for that. You got time for a quick chat? I appreciate it. Okay, that's annoying. They need to decrease the amount that the, the character says that. Like, maybe whenever you go into a new... Like, whenever you finish a load or something like that would be a good time to have them pull you again. But not just have them constantly pester you. Because it's like, clearly... Would... Shop's open. It's not every day that I get a new customer. What do you think of your supervisor? I like him. He's a funny guy and he knows a ton about geology. He's not exactly hard on the eyes either. Oh, jeez. But don't tell him I said that. Everybody's uh, gay in the future. Weird. Every single person. It's nothing special. But I'll keep showing up as long as they keep paying me. It beats making my way behind a desk, anyway. Alright, let's see what Take that your for time. Let's see if we can offload some crap here. Uh, we want to sell. Is that better than our, our Orion? I don't actually know. Got a couple Beowulfs. Our Beowulf is special, right? Well, we don't need that. Oh. Okay, we're out of stuff we can really sell here. Let's see if we can get rid of some apparel. I kind of like this one because of the persuasion chance, but our persuasion chance is really high anyway. Might not be worth carrying around. Let's get rid of it. Oh, that's right. We can't. Not enough money. So that's a pirate crew outfit? I would have expected more red. More red and black. 
I definitely want to keep the Neon Dancer outfit for nostalgic value, even if we are not wearing it. Where do we get this notebook? All right. Thanks for the chat. I'm not exactly sure if that's what we were trying to offload before, because I honestly don't remember. Wait, there's some iridium here. Is it not claimed? Oh no, it's grabbing the iridium down there. Okay. Yeah, so we've looked at this. Did we look at that? We did. Or at least it's not stealable in any case. So I don't hear our thing beeping at us. It makes me wonder if it's... I don't know, maybe it's daytime so it's not that cold or something? It doesn't look like daytime though. To be new characters here every time I turn my head. Like, where's this? Where'd this robot come from? Please proceed with caution. There is heavy machinery operating in this area. All right, let's go upstairs. I assume that there's an interior here somewhere. Maybe not. Keeping these miners in line is more work than you'd think. If you need any supplies. Our vendor can help out. What are you doing out here? What's it look like? We're breaking rocks. And we don't need an audience. This isn't some tourist attraction. Move along before you get hurt. You're rude. Anything I can do to help out? Always could use a hand. Current details are listed on the mission terminal. Help yourself. Ah, oh, mission terminals. Some more Bye. procedurally generated missions, probably. Very annoying. Let's go to the mission terminal just so we can get it off of our who do list. Where would it be? Mission terminal. Activity, activities, use mission terminal. Over here. There it is. Kill pirate on Beta and Drasty. Sure. We can take both of these. Get a little bit of uh, experience, a little bit of cash. Sounds good to me. They're both places we're going to go anyway, so... Alright. Now while we're doing that, uh, visit rented room. Mission. Where was it? Didn't we just get one? Turn to the fold. There it is. Why didn't that work? You have to click down here, I guess. Which is a little weird. Well, let's go. How far away is this? It seems like it's pretty far away. We can always tele teleport back to the ship. Let's just take a look at this place over here while we're here. Let's see what's up. Alright, we can't steal anything anyway. I should probably just move on. Let's go. That is a long way away. This is a walking simulator. This is a ship landing site over there. Alright, we're starting to get into some bad conditions here.
Should we check out whatever that is? Things don't seem to be claimed out here. Guess we'll grab the sushi. They really like sushi out here. Alright, moving on. Don't want to get bogged down. It's still so far away. At least your stamina doesn't deplete too too quickly here. Stamina depletion seems to be a function of gravity. Which I suppose makes sense. I should not have done this. I should have gone straight up the hill. So I wonder if this miner's actually at whatever installation that is. We really need a faster way to get around here. Walking simulator engaged. I wonder if the scaling on the on the levels assumes that you're taking a certain number of um, how, how would you say it? Um, optional side quests? Procedural side quests? Because a lot of them, you take them and you're go they're in places that you're sort of already going to go, you know? Alright, so we have a ship here. I'm feeling like this gun, despite the fact that I like it, it's very controllable. It's kind of getting underpowered for a level. This looks a lot like our ship. Is this our ship? Is this our damn ship? Discovery is not our ship. It looks a lot like it. We have found a civilian outpost. Okay. Well, there's our miner over there. I suppose we could go inside and talk to Sam. Hey, miner. Mm -hmm. You traveled a ways to find me. 
If you're here on behalf of the outpost, don't bother. I've had my fill of our glorious leader's dictates. Okay. Let's try to persuade. I'll hear you out. The only way to make things better is to go back and help. We don't really know what happened, did Trust we? Trust me. There's nothing I can do to change things. I didn't mean to annoy you, but do you really think leaving is a good idea? Maybe I am being overly defensive. I just need a second to think. Let's do the two. I'm eventually going to persuade you. <laughs> you don't know how to take no for an answer, do you? Fine. Enough. I'll go back, alright? Oh, we have to actually I'm walk her back? Home. I'll follow your lead. Oh, goodness. What the hell? This is just make work. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> they have to make procedural quests less annoying than this. Like, this is... This is literally just make work. Unless we can teleport. But I don't think we can. Alright, you didn't have anything to say. So we've got a couple buildings here. Might as well do them. What's in here? Anything? No. out here always need fixing, but at least no one's telling me what to fix. When I was younger, I thought I would love it out here. You know, I do. Uh -huh. We sell the best protection you'll find out here. Repair it all ourselves. We sell medicine, armor, and whatever else passes through. Uh -huh. We can usually tell where you've been by what you have to sell. Oh, we're just trying to get rid of offload some of our inventory here. All right, so Beowulf. Um, where's the Beowulf that we have? Well, we can definitely get rid of these. Don't I have a special Beowulf or something? Maelstrom. Hmm. Oh, there it is. The Incendiary Modified Beowulf. So we can get rid of all of our other Beowulfs, I believe. I do want to keep that mag shot. This Explorer's Orion. I don't know about it. Cutter. Oh, can't do anymore. Okay. Oh, one dollar. <laughs> okay, we're not selling anything else. Let's get Take here. care. We like our customers to live. Sometimes other colonies will send us supplies. No way we would have survived without them. My partner thinks spacers will want to rob this place. Ha! <laughs> I'd like to see them try. Pardon. Oh, I you down? think that they will. I, may be willing to buy. I think they will try. We uh, have lost people out here. But they'd want us to stay. Yeah, we nice, all believe in this place. Yeah, nice little setup here. So why wouldn't they try, right? Have we talked to this person? Howdy. Oh, okay. That's the one they're Time taking back. Time to get back. back to it. Um, chunks, playing cards. I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything that we can steal anyway. And I probably shouldn't be trying to find one. Should probably just move on. Or just very, very quickly. Excuse me. Cur cursory glance at everything. And move on. Hmm. 
All right, so that goes back outside. A couple workbenches. I'm really looking for magazines and abandoned cred sticks. Jeez. Thank you. Excuse me. Brochure. The Terran Preservation Society. Take a look at that. Maybe there's some quests there. book that we can't pick up. bad. This person's a bit of a mess, but... Alright, I think we're all good here. <sighs> One more place to... Hello, I'm we... thinking of building a bigger hub. Maybe I just want a bigger room. It's pretty big already. Excuse me. Yes? Alright, we did the two-click. Let's get out of here. I thought there was a door over here. Okay, let's go out this one. See what happens. Alright. It's a good pick. Seems to be the closest to the one to where we are going. I think I've already checked this. Storage box. Sealant. This is the other hab. Maybe this is the one that's under construction. Maybe it's the one he was alluding to. What do we have in here? Giant explosives thing. Some credits. Really sure what this area is supposed to be. It's just like a warehouse. There's really nothing here. So I guess we can bring this miner back. Is that really everything that was over here? Check out this thing here, whatever this is. Oh, is this like a pod that they came down in? There's no door. Could be a communications thing. We operate our own marketplace. I'm gonna check out this drill here. Do you walk around in that? 
ridiculous. Alright, I'm gonna quickly save, and then I'm just gonna see if we can teleport back to um, the other location, because I don't really want to walk there. But at the same time, I don't want to lose the mission either. No, it would be under Star And then... I've uh, got some stuff on my mind when you have the time. Yep, yep. Come on, jump, jump, jump. And the factories keep churning. Oh, come Reliable on. That way. What is this other condition? Is it wind? Poor air quality. Hmm. Yes, we can talk. We'll we'll talk when we get back to the ship. We're all breathing a sigh of relief around here now that we're all back together. Thank you. You're welcome. Here. This is for you. You've earned it. Good luck out there. Alright, where's the lady? Is this her? No. Nope. Is this her? If this is your idea of a vacation spot, you have your head screwed on backwards. Well, it's a procedurally generated mission anyway, so it's not like she's gonna say anything profound. At the same time, it would have been nice to get a reaction. Alright, let's head back to the ship and then talk to Sam. Star map. Uh, where's the, where's the ship? Sur- No, surface map. Ship. Yes. And get up. Talk to Sam. Why is it say poor air quality? We're not outside. Where's Sam? Oh, there he is. He's sleeping, but he's not quite in bed. Like, he's kind of hovering. <laughs> What's going on here? Hey, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your advice. All right. After our last talk, I was really worried what you'd say, but I always feel better. Thank you. You're welcome. Cora's grandpa. Good old Jacob. Well, he just will not stop pestering me to see Cora. And that's complicated. Jacob's a real ass. Or Cora's got a lot of people that care for her. Or you don't talk that much about your father. Interesting. We should go for that. He is not my favorite topic of conversation. My early years, they uh, weren't good. My mother died when I was seven. Some people have such strong memories from their early life. Me, I mean, I remember her. I have some pictures. I remember the feelings, but just a few clear memories. All right, what happened to her? She banged up her knee real good in an accident. So she went in for knee replacement. Supposed to be routine, but that damn anesthesiologist dropped the ball. And one day, mom's fine. When the next doctors take her away. Hmm. That's pretty bad. What do you remember? She had these truly ancient cameras, like caveman type things. To the room with a red light, she developed pictures she took in this chemical bath. I remember sitting on a stool, looking up at them slowly fading in, and it was like alchemy to me then. And that's all I have. Just glimpses like that. I bet that changed some things at home, or I'm sorry to hear about your mom. 
Oh, yeah. It's all right. It's ancient history. So, Jacob raised me on his own, and... Shit, maybe I don't give him enough credit. I mean, I know how tough it is, but he was strict, hard. Dad was a longtime civil servant, a big man in governments, and he had a future all laid out for me. Man, could he get his hooks into you. He was scary good at that. Mm. What exactly did your dad do? At his height, he was some sort of trade minister. A very prominent man in Aquila City. And after I came along, he stepped down to a lower posting. We still had a finger in trade all over the collective. I can't deny it. He sacrificed a lot to be closer to Mom and me. You probably did it out of love, or let me guess, that future wasn't for you. I actually would really like to see him reconcile with his dad. This is probably not the right thing to say. Screw it. Maybe. But it was tough to live up to his exacting expectations. But I tried. I felt the weight of legacy. I wanted to do him proud. He said I had to learn the business, run some freight, see how credits flow, speak the language. Meanwhile, he's working some angle for a government job for me after. That sounded even more miserable than what I was doing. Mm. I sympathize with this to an extremely large degree. Uh, so I can say he should have asked you what you wanted or if you were somebody else, it may not have been that bad of a deal if you were somebody else. Okay. Or, I wish I met you a long time ago. We have ser we have to seriously make up for lost time. Or, did you ever tell him you didn't want it? Let's go with the question first. Oh, I started to. Many, many times. He'd always steer the conversation away and just use logic to dissect every little point. Once I held my ground, and he said I was an ungrateful child. Wow. Not worthy of what he was doing. Oof. All right, let's see the flirt. This might not be a good time to do it. I mean, look at his face. He's uh, kind of mad. This might set him off, but... Imagining you around back then. Let's just say you would have been uh, distracting. But I had a point, <laughs> if I could remember it. Even after I was with the Rangers, Dad was just always needling angling for me to join the government. But by then I knew myself more, and I could stand up to him. And Lillian, well, she helped. If I let Jacob into Cora's life, he'll dream up some big future for her and tie her into knots like he did with me. A man could teach a master class in manipulation. Hmm... Is your father really that much of a problem? I mean, I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure that freight company was silently partnered with good old dad. And the smuggling? I wouldn't put it past him to be involved. Very involved. He always did a good job of keeping that side of the business hidden from everyone. Especially me. Uh, have you seen evidence? Well, no. But he hasn't had much opportunity. And he's a sly one. I'm not sure I'd be able to spot anything. It should be up to Cora, otherwise you're making up choices for her, or Jacob's bad news. I think you're right to keep Cora away from him. I don't actually know. If he does anything like that, I'm sure you shut it down fast. Or Jacob might surprise you. He seems to really love Cora. We could do this. I would try, that's for damn sure. No guaranteeing I'd succeed. I guess I got more to think about. Hmm. Alright, I don't think we did great there. I don't think we had any Sam liked that. Do you have anything to say? 
Your ship is way bigger than Dad's. See you later. Okay, you don't have anything to say. All right. Well, I think we should wrap up this episode here. We kind of, uh, we didn't do everything on this planet. There's still another thing to do. But uh, yeah, I think that we're we're good for now. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. New episodes every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada. I'm Cobalt Thorium, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.